cork inserter thingy majabi here whatever so basically this is how we do it and this little if you don't have this siphoning tube with the shutoff valve on it you can actually do it from here by using this hand squeeze shutoff but um, it's a lot easier like this Welcome to RC Garden. Well, hey, and welcome back to RC Gardens. Today, I want to get this blackberry wine bottled up that you saw in an earlier episode. The last time we were working with this stuff, I had some questions about, hey, you've never shown, shown us how to bottle or whatever. So I'm going to show you how I do it. So the wine has been sitting here for about six months, well, about five, about five, I guess. July, sometime in July, after, probably the end of July, we started making it. And you can follow that by going back and looking at some of the other episodes. And uh, some of the episodes may actually be on our other channel, but we're trying to put all of this kind of stuff on RC Garden's channel now. So anyway, uh, we're going to get this stuff uh, ready to bottle. We've already checked the um, hydrometer on this. Everything's down to zero, so it's time to bottle it. We put our Camden tablets in, and I use uh, about one tablet per gallon, and that kills any uh, residual bacteria from the yeast that's in it. So this is a semi-sweet, so, uh, you know, it's not bitter, but it's not real sugary sweet. It's not like, you know, eating a dessert or something. So anyway, let's go through what we're going to do here and then I'll show you uh, how to do it. Does that make sense? Yeah, well, I guess it does. All right, show you more. Okay, so basically what we did here, um, we used this product. Um, it's what I use on everything to clean everything and to sterilize. It's one step. It's a no rinse kind of thing. Um, it's just, there's one, I've got several different kinds, but this is what I use today because this seems to have a really good scrubbing power and whenever I take my bottles out, even though I rinse them every time I use them and, or empty one out, uh, they still tend to be dirty on the inside from sitting downstairs. So, um, and I keep them in a wine rack so things aren't falling in them, but you know, dust and stuff, but they still get dirty. So I cleaned up uh, our um, bottler or our capper or uh, cork inserter thingy majabi here whatever and uh, then we've got this this is a, an automatic siphon tube you hook on and when it hit you push down on the bottom of the bottle and then as you raise it up it shuts the shuts it off so we use that to fill with and uh, use just a tub of water here with uh, a teaspoon of that per gallon and we just cleaned up everything so uh, we also cleaned up our siphoning hose, which is hanging behind you, so you can't see it. But I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff set up in our jug over here and get it ready to fill the bottles. All right, show you more. Okay, so I've got my siphoning hose in my carboy, and I've already got it primed. I've shown you how to do that before. And it's the same way as when I do my beer. And so then uh, what we've got here is these dark bottles. Uh, I can fill those, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna fill them off camera because you can't really see the fluid or the wine in this instance going into it. So let me um, let me get down here and uh, show you what we're doing here. Because this thing's got a automatic feed, so I'm gonna lift it up out of that bottle, and we're gonna start putting it in this bottle. And hopefully you can see that filling with some blackberry wine. So again, this wine turned out to be about say about six, five, five and a half, six. It's not very not very high alcohol content, and like I said, it's not real sweet. Uh, it's definitely not you know like uh, you know an ice wine or something like that. This is just kind of a mid, just something to sip on. It's nothing, you know, it's not uh, 
and it will have a pretty good blackberry flavor, or it does, I've tasted it, so. So basically this is how we do it, and this little, if you don't have this siphoning tube with the shutoff valve on it, you can actually do it from here by using this hand squeeze shutoff, but um, it's a lot easier like this. Uh, the amount of this area that this thing takes up in the bottle just makes it about right when you stop it and pull it out uh, to, cork, to have room for the cork and a little bit of airspace. So you can see when we get it up here to top, and then we pull up on it, see how it just makes it right at the same thing. Okay, so I'm going to get these filled and then I'll come back and show you uh, when we go to put the corks in the bottles. All right, show you more. Okay, so uh, we wound up with uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 bottles. And I had a little bit of this left over, or had a little left over. Um, so I'm just going to put this in this little uh, California crafty uh, thing. And I'm going to put that in the refrigerator. And we'll sip on that first. Um, so I want to show you how to bottle this. So uh, I just bottled this one. So we'll send it over here. Basically, we're going to take our... Uh, handy dandy little uh, uh, I guess cork inserter tooly thing I don't know what it's really called and we're going to take one of our corks that we um, sterilize just like our bottles and all of our tools that we've been using we're going to load that right in there just like that in the center I don't know if you can see you just stick it in the center there and we're going to take a bottle here we'll just use this one and we're going to push this down on here and push all the way down until the handles hit the end. And there you have one bottled. So let's try this again. Get another one up here. We're going to load this thing in here. And we're going to put it up on top of here. And there you have it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and bottle the rest of these, and then I'll show you when I get done. Show you more. Okay, well, as you can see, the old uh, carboy back here is empty, except for some dreads in the bottom. Uh, and that's just kind of some junk that will get thrown out. You know, we've racked this wine before on the channel, and, and that gets that separation and all that dead stuff that gets cooked out of it and uh, all the debris falls to the bottom. We did that about four times, four or five times over this last five and a half months. So, so there's always going to be a little bit in the bottom. And if you keep this, if the wine stays around long enough, it may not because I can give it away and stuff. But if it does stay around for a couple of years, you'll start to see, because we'll store them like this so that the moisture stays in the cork. And you'll sometimes see some sediment along the bottom. And uh, you can just pour against that so that the air, when you're pouring, you know, it doesn't boil that out. So just make sure it's on the bottom, pour it out, and you, you won't get that in your glass. They do make some uh, little tools that you put in the end of your wine bottle after you open it uh, that has a screen in it. Um, I have one of those sometimes if uh, I've got some wines down there that are 15 years old or 20 even 20 I think yeah in one, one instance uh, that I've made they, they hold good as long as you keep them cool and in a dark place um, I find that homemade wines last better in these dark bottles this is a blue bottle um, you saw us bottling in these clear ones um, but if you keep them in the like we have a place downstairs so I keep them dark in the dark and keep them cool. Um, they'll last for years, actually. So, but I'm sure this wine won't last that long because everybody likes blackberry wine around here, and so it'll go quickly. 
Uh, I probably will take some tape, something similar to what you can see has been on here at one time, and I'll put on there uh, Blackberry 2022, and uh, so that kind of gives me an idea. If one of them does stay around, that you know, hey, when was it made? So, but anyway, that's kind of all I got here. So. Um, I hope you enjoy the channel. There's more to come. This uh, we're going to start. Uh, I mean, it's January now, so yeah, you know, we just got the blackberries transplanted. We won't have a lot of blackberries this year, um, but we will have some the following year. We should have a lot. But we're going to do a lot of gardening uh, coming up soon. We got to get the garden ready. There's some early stuff we can plant when it's still cold out, like lettuce and radishes and different things like that so we're going to do that and uh, we're also going to do some canning this summer uh, once we get a harvest um, and we're going to make some jellies and uh, you may even see some cooking going on yet this winter so stick around hope you enjoy the channel subscribe today tell all your friends about it and if you got questions hey just drop us a drop a line down below uh, go over to the about section and all of our contact information is right there so Anyway, thanks for coming along, and remember, you can grow it too. You just need to get out there and do it.